Ten minutes left here. We just got word from Art Cash that the, buy imba the imbalance is to the buy side uh, uh, to the tune of $300 billion, so not a $300 million. Wouldn't be a huge amount, but it is uh, something to keep an eye on. That would be Ken Mahoney on the right there from Mahoney Asset Management and independent investment consultant David Darst. And we were just saying during the commercial break, whatever happened to the quiet week? I know, it's been a long the month this week, right? right? I mean, my gosh, I mean, I mean, July 4th fireworks, that's supposed to have been you know, on Saturday. We just kept going with it. But think about it, Greece, China, oil, it's all there. Puerto Rico. And, uh, yeah, it's always Puerto Rico. It's that, that in there. You know, it's kind of like the perfect storm. Yet this market has been really resilient, and that's something we're seeing today. A pretty strong bid. We gap up. We're holding that gap. So we're in pretty good shape right now. You brought up Puerto Rico, David. It's on your mind? It is $73 billion they've borrowed, as you know. They are a country that's got the same debt as Venezuela with one-third the number of people. So something's got to be done there. My best guess is things will be kicked down the road until after the 2016 national elections. So you're going to try to do whatever you can. How, though? Where's, yeah. where's the money going to come from? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you've these, had, these are short-term, relatively short-term obligations. You've had, these, you've had these um, talks about restructuring. You had this report done by the people from the IMF and the World Bank. It is not a country. It is an obligation that needs to be met. I do believe it will be kept on ice, Bill, Kelly. It will not be as important to the markets as, of course, Greece and especially the China situation. Are you, are you buying anything right now? Yeah, what are you, you doing? We're hoping for more of a dip, quite frankly. I mean, look, this week tells us we're going to be the beneficiary. The U.S. is going to be the beneficiary. Look at China. The market's manipulated. You don't know really how to trade that market. Japan's still in a 30-year recession. And Europe, you know, they're still trying to fight deflation. So we think the beneficiary will be large-cap stocks that pay dividends. You know, we have to kind of go through this digestion phase. But at the end of it, you look around the world. And the risk-reward level here in the U.S. seems to be the best case at the moment. Not so too think, bothered by Fed rate hikes? No. I mean, Janet was kind of you know, neutral to dovish again today. And it said, again, how can you trade the, the Chinese market, the Shanghai? Up 8 percent one day, down 8 percent the next. It's like a yo-yo. I mean, people don't trust that market. I think people trust the U.S. market a lot better, global money managers included. I'm with Ken Mahoney. However, I would also say keep buying Japanese equities. You got a four-part story there. Shinzo Abe restructuring. Valuation story, it's half the book value of the United States' book value ratio, 2.6 to 1.3. You've got the uh, earnings growth, earnings growth story, restructuring story, valuation story, and fourth is the asset allocation shift story. As you know, the government pension insurance fund, GPIF, 1.4 trillion, 12.5% Japanese equities. They've announced they're going to 25%. U.S. individual investors, 44 percent in stocks. Europe, 34 percent. Japan, 10 percent. Yeah. And we think they will follow that. So it's up 13 percent or so in dollars. You can buy it hedged. Stay with Japan as well. It's a good way to get some exposure out there. And the key thing for China is if they, uh, their plans to become a special drawing right currency. There's only four, the pound, the yen, the dollar, and the um, um, the, uh, the, the, the Australian the euro the euro okay 37 percent 44 percent 11 and nine that's the way it goes Japan wanted uh, China wanted to come in they're not going to make it I find it interesting nobody's made this link their their market peaked out June 12th June 9th we talked about it here MSCI took them out of said they're not going to go not into the index in. yeah. and all that money was flooding in hoping that the index funds would follow it did not happen did not by happen. Japan all right. and by the US by Ken Mahoney there, there you go. go thank you David we're, we're bye, gentlemen. <laughs> and say goodbye <laughs> yeah. bye bye see you guys later we'll have a come back with a closing countdown with this Friday and wrap things